Hey guys, so welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to download and upload your bank transactions in Xero. So first, we want to make sure that we're connected um, to our Xero account in your Google Sheets. If you see this message, that means you are, which is great. Then we're going to scroll down to reports, head over to report designer, and then click on design accounting reports. In the drop down menu, we're going to select bank transaction. And then in the date range, we want to make sure that we are within the date range that we want. And then under bank account, we're going to go ahead and select a bank account number, bank account type. And this time we're going to add on code. Under context, we're going to select name. Then we're going to select dates. And then in the line items, we're going to select account code, description, quantity, tracking and unit amount. For the sake of this video, we're going to select reference, although it is not needed. We're going to also select status and type. Those two are in the change pull settings. Uh, we're going to select um, deselect display date range. We don't really want a title. So in fields three through five, we're going to make sure that everything is correctly filled in the way we want to. And then we're going to click execute. So if done correctly, um, your screen should look something similar to mine. And then we're going to select the data that we do want to upload. So for me, it's going to be lines 21 and 22. We're just going to copy and paste it at the very top. That way, everything else is in order. And we're going to go ahead and select the data that we don't need. And this is just for the sake of organization. So we're going to make sure that our status and type are both saying authorized and received. So this is important because without these two code words authorized and received, we are not going to be able to correctly upload your bank transactions. So once we confirm that your status says authorized and your type says received, we're going to go over and we're going to highlight our data. We're going to go over to extensions and select on for zero and then we're going to select upload accounting data so then your screen should look very similar to mine and then we're going to make sure that everything is in order so we have currently selected rows we have bank transactions and we have our operation as insert which is good and then our first table header is in cell a1 so that's correct and then we're going to go through the fields in Xero. We need to make sure that everything here is correctly inputted. So we're going to go through and especially pay closer attention to the red asterisks because those are very important. Okay, everything looks good. Our type is spend. Our status is authorized. We're all good to go. And we're going to go to column mappings and make sure everything here is also correct. Then we're going to go ahead and click execute and save. So again, once done correctly, your results should be on the right hand side and looky here. So once we see that our success and created are both true, we should have hyperlinks, which will take us to our zero account. And this just shows that we've successfully uploaded your bank transactions into your zero. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much. And don't forget to have fun.